drop, gonna drop. So you watch the clip from the Nori and my expert opinion interview where Nori says he could never interview you because of his relationship with Fat Joe. What was your immediate thoughts when you saw this? Um, my immediate thought was uh, I was a little upset because, you know, Nori, regardless of what it is, I know he rocks with him. I never I never put the blame on, you know, the people that rock with my, you know, for say enemy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I try to be as cordial as I can. Uh, you know, I don't blame others for, for others' mistakes, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, they're with them. You know, they pick their size. They're helping them win. And I'm sure Joe gives them the speech behind it. All of them, they give them the speech. And, uh, you know, since back then, since we started the separation, it's been like that. You know, same way it starts with me being cordial, seeing people that, you know, that I know are with Joe and never treating them like that. Where, you know, I, I try to get at them or, or show any hatred towards them. Uh, actually, I'm, you know, I, I walk up to them and say, what's up? Trying to befriend them and let them know, yo, listen, it's between me and Joe. I don't want to treat you like that. So treat me like that. But it doesn't work. You know, I said it never worked. And, uh, you know, when whenever I dealt with somebody uh, face to face, it's always been love. I seen the nervousness in them in the beginning because I guess what they heard, how they supposed to be on it. They probably think I'm, you know, what I'm saying worse than that. But some of them I did give it to because they deserved it. But that wasn't because of that. You know what I'm saying? I always came called you with a with a hand out, uh, explaining that. I did that with Khaled. That's what happened with Khaled. Um, the first time I, when I seen him again after that separation, I seen him in Puerto Rico. And, uh, you know, and I told him, I said, yo, Khaled, I'm working on a new, new project. But he was already scared already. I guess because they know already what they, they're supposed to be on. So they don't want to, you know what I'm saying, get, let the word get back to Joe that they was friendly with me. It was on like that. It was like that from back then. I seen it, you know what I'm saying? So I know that he was doing that. That's the reason I told you. Um, I told everybody uh, that, you know what I'm saying? That's why I went head up and I didn't try to, you know what I'm saying? The more you, the more you lay back, I seen it happen. You don't go at him, you don't say nothing. You know, my, my gun, my fight back is my tongue. You know what I'm saying? My music. Uh, so, I mean, besides physically, you know, I could have did anything. Of course, the streets taught me to do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we out in the open. We artists. We don't want to do that. We never did. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit happened. Shit happened right there on the spot. That's because of things that happened right there and transpired right there. But nobody ain't planning to really go do something crazy to that man. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he is my rival in music. And he's been my rival in music. And, uh, you know, when you have different type of enemies, you got those enemies that salute you. You know, can still respect you when you do some stand-up stuff. You know what I'm saying? For the whole game of hip hop. Uh, and, and, you know what I'm saying? At least salute that. Be part of the whole culture. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the snakes that they just want to see you die. They want to see you under because they're, they're conscious of you being up in success. Um, it scares them. It scares them that you're going to do to them what they did to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. They're really fighting themselves. And that's the fear they got. That's what I'm talking about. They fear me because that's what they can't. You know, he fears that. You know what I'm saying? So much dirt that he got that he did and then so many times he tried to put me down and all that what he went through he's still doing it you just seen it I just seen it so when that, you know I hear people tell me yo but why y'all always talking why well, you always talking like, that's that's what happens you know you talking this and that I've been talking because of this because of that you know what I'm saying and I told y'all that God was going to show y'all I was tired of fighting that you know what I'm saying I told you I had a conversation with the man upstairs and he told me that and that's what I asked for so I actually, I just getting what I asked for. So uh, I'm enlightened, you know what I'm saying? And I'm enlightened, it's just for y'all to see, you know what I'm saying? So y'all could see my road and see what I've been through. And uh, I guarantee you another, another brother that, that would have been in my situation would have been quick. Like it happened in the past. He made a lot of brothers quick, man. I can go back. Yeah, some people say that it's not Joe that- Of oh, course. But- it's that they saw the way that you moved and they didn't like that. So then now they're weird. Well, well, but those, so so they didn't like the way I moved towards Joe, you mean? Not towards them, towards Joe. Yeah. Okay, so get off this, get off his dick. Be a hit. Got a problem with him. My niggas is on my dick. Oh, you want to jump in? Then welcome to the water. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Let that man and me do what we need to do. But he puts it to, 
and and I'm sure he should he should do it. Too. He just put it like a team. He's messing up our brand. He's you know saying the more he messes up our brand, the less money he puts it a bit in the business terms to them. It involves them. I understand that. What do you think he's doing to me, nigga? What do you think he's doing to me? When you put the mother, when you hear the words that nigga say, remember that it's other fucking little two fucking uh, shoes that y'all need to try to step in the shoes of mine and understand. I'm not gonna stay hit, nigga. I'm not gonna stay, a nigga. I'm not. You've never been there, so you know. If you play tip for tap, you will do that. I don't give a fuck. Tip for tap, tip for tap. No matter, slip for slap. Don't matter. Dealing with a real nigga, you dealing with a nigga. You can't just do that to. You can't just bump me and don't say sorry if it was a mistake. You gotta say sorry. If you say sorry, it's cool. All right, my brother. Next time, watch out. Keep on. But if you don't, you know. What's so crazy though is that. People really think that Joe is not capable of blackballing somebody. Because he is the fucking baloney in a dress. That's why he's the baloney in a dress. Don't expect that because he's, yeah, but you know, he does it so nice. And, you know, that's what he wanted to do. I don't want to keep saying it like that because now I'm glad that, you know, regardless how Nori, I know Nori tried to rep for Joe right there. That was the representation for He's in the middle, and he don't want to really do it, but he's doing it. You know what I'm saying? He's doing it. He's not really my man. You know what I'm saying? He's not really my man. My man wouldn't do that, right? My real friend. But he could, he's going to say, oh, I got to get my money. That's my man, too. Yeah, that's your man, too. But he, you helping him, right? So you're telling him, you're making him money, and he's using you to make him money and stomp me, keep me down on the ground. That's what they act like. They, that's not, You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not doing ba nothing bad. Like, you doing that. You, you know, he, your man is using that. The leader is using that. Just keep me down. Make sure I don't get up. Spread that bad word about me. Make up them rumors. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. It's not even that. You know what I'm saying? You can keep it like that. You know, business is business. Make up lies and shit. He tells it, spreads it. Like it's a fucking, uh, you know, like a presidential campaign. You know how niggas be lying and shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he be, he, be, he, be, he, be, he be having niggas do that, you know what I'm saying? Hand-to-hand uh, -hand shit. So... Were you and Nori really close back in the day? Was it close like that? It was cool. I got mad at Nori one time because, once again, um, situation with uh, Baby Pun, which is Chris Rivers. You see how incredible artist he is, Pun's son. He started his career. Back in the days, he had a, uh, a group called Three Down with Benzino's son. You know, they didn't go far because, you know, the Eminem and Benzino stopped it. But I remember that project. I know I was part of that. I was helping Lil Pun. And, uh, you know, uh, Liza and you know the the real family wanted uh, like uh, artists that pun f with like who pun f with had love for to be part of this. So of course I was part of it. Other people, other, other uh, rappers too. But she went to Nori and asked Nori to do a song with Baby Chris. He was nine years old. And you know what Nori said. And he said no because Joe told him to say no. Pun's son at nine years old. That's what Nori did. So I knew he was with Joe. When it when you know push come to shove, I knew he, he rocked with Joe. But Nori, if you rock with Joe, don't represent my brother, man, like that, brother. Don't ever say, don't ever fix your mouth and say pun like that, then. If you are capable of denying his son. His only prince out here, when he was nine years old, don't fix yourself and say that's your brother. What kind of fucking fresh face is that? And that's what I'll be mad. And that was back then. No, we know. We seen each other in club drama, and I, he saw my energy. You know, he, he knows that. But still, even after that, I seen him doing things that was good. I let it go because I know he, Joe put him in that position. You know what I'm saying? So I understand how awkward sometimes he could be, and I, I can see where he's trying to do. He don't know where to go, but he knows where to go now. And you're back exactly where you was back then, right with Joe. You know? But in the middle of that, there was a time when Nori was chanting, yo, you can't say Terror Squad without saying Big Pun. You can't say Terror Squad without saying Cuba Lane. I remember that. And me and Joe were still at odds. And that was going to happen. But I appreciated the fact when I look back at it, damn, he wanted peace. He tried to me, you know what I'm saying? He tried to bring the clue. He tried, and I'm, he knew how Joe felt. So 
But he did it against Joe's will anyway because he wanted peace. I respected that. But look at the man that was chatting out. And I hung out with him after that. That's why he calmed me down. He calmed me down from the shit that he did with Chris. I was like, okay, man, you know, that's no way. And I know my brother loved him. But I don't think you love him now, knowing that. Knowing knowing that I told you something about Joe. Yeah, yo, this, yo, he jerked my man pun, man. He was doing 50 50. He was doing a 50 plan with, with pun. Nori got on some a podcast and was like, he saw the contracts. Back in every lie up that this thing, he stood up. Joe's putting him in the front so, so he can rectify all the cheats and shit he did and say that I'm a liar. So why you don't want me in this podcast if I'm a liar? I, if you're a mother real nigga and you lying on me, I would love to have you on my podcast because I'm going to look you out of eye face to face. We're going to talk. I mean, me and him is different because it's blood, you know, blood's been spilled, but even I was still doing it. You know, I might have to hypnotize myself to calm down, but I will do it. If we do it like the king's table, it's like 12 feet, and he's over there, I might do it in the interview. Like, yo, you motherfucker, what you said? You lying for And then you got to press the button. You know, let's do that. And then we get closer and closer up, but it's at least a start, right? But I'm just saying that. Nori, um, that's how I felt back then with, with the punch situation. The little baby punch. So it bothered me. So when I hear Nori with the big pun, my brother, he tells stories about pun all day, and he, he's trying to take that love. He's like, bring it back to the terrorist, but to Joe, Tony, and him. They sell out. They sold out on pun. They sold out on pun. They don't represent pun. Man. They f f sell out that are only for themselves that done sin so much, and they can't come back from that hell. They're trying to just think they can get away with all that. Don't use my f***ing brother name. Don't use me. As a set, and they keep doing it. And y'all letting them do it. That rewarding the baloney. I mean, it is what it is. He's backed by the machine and the system. But damn. I, I don't mind y'all giving them the fish out, but the nigga that actually the real one, y'all putting that, y'all trying to bury the real one though? At least give me the same shot where y'all can hear my voice and understand. I bet you I'm gonna make more sense. I bet you y'all gonna feel my love. Y'all gonna feel my lyrics. As an artist, all that just me and the problems being, as just as a regular artist, y'all gonna feel me more, I guarantee you. And that's the thing, that chance I never got because of, you know, saying the intervention, but those, so it's intervening and some shit. But it's okay. We, we still here. We're here. We're good. How do you know that uh, Joe told him to say no to the Baby Pun album? Because uh, Liza told me, and he told me. He told me himself. Nori told you? I think he told me. I think he told me. I think I called him in. Uh, well, we seen each other. I was mad at him. I seen him in club drama. I didn't want to give him a hand. You know, say I, I am. A, I already have my like my 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 feeling. He knew that. He saw me. He didn't understand it for a minute. Then later on, calm down. Another day, I, I think we had a conversation. He said it. He said it. I know Liza definitely told me, but it's the truth. Bottom line, it's the truth. It's not. I don't know if he told me one day because after that. Later on, like three, four years later, I hung out with him. We went, to, you know, me and him went to a club and everything. I used to see him around. It. We always, you know, say, say what's up. I think we, he got the he had the confidence to say it, but I never really after that like dr like drilled him about it. You know what I'm saying? Where, where he's like, you're wrong because you were still like, you know what I'm saying? People go through this shit sometimes, and then he did the. I, I appreciate, it. like I said, he didn't, he didn't mean no malice by it because he was still saying, "Yo, Terry Squad, you guys say you be like Terry, you gotta say, you know, big pun." So he's trying to unite. So so when he, he was on that, we got a little closer again and went to a club, a club together and all of that. I remember we seen Rocky, ASAP Rocky and all that together who was up there. But uh, I always like Nori, man. His energy's dope. But just don't back, you know, he's just backing up. And he knows it. He knows enough. He's in the circle. He's been around to know enough. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to lie on what's real, on history. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the mother. The, 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 the work put in, you know what I'm saying? The real circle circle, he wasn't in, he wasn't involved in the real circle circle as far as family. Punt. He wasn't. But he was the closest. All, all, all the artists he was. You know what I'm saying? As, you know, but he wasn't day to day. But uh, he knew enough that point. You know, he did a lot of projects together. Uh, Nori was like one of the day first they used to come to uh, Club X in the Bronx with Joe used to bring him. So we had, you know, we had that that report. We had, we had that that war report with him. But now this war report, you know what I'm saying, that he got is, 
is a little different, you know what I'm saying? And I see he still is good. He knows the truth because you can see it in his eyes. They never lie, Chico. They never lie. And you can see it. If let, you want to address math real quick? Because I, I, before it starts messing up, I'd rather do that just in case it messes up. Because, you know, I wrote the brother on IG and, you know, I hit him up and I said, yo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was disappointed in you. We got a little relationship through here, you know, just Texas and stuff. I told him, you know what I'm saying? I felt about his career. You know, he's a dope brother. You know, I respect that. I love what he's doing. So, uh, you know, that's before that. Uh, and, and, um, and actually, the week the week after that, the week after that, uh, math, I don't know where Joe becomes, you know what I'm saying? The, and then I seen the relationship. I already know. You know how I know. So I started looking. When I looked at the show with him and Matt, I was like, ah, you got him. See, Joe already like, I'm, it's going to change you right here. You're going to have a lot of traffic. Watch. Like, he changed his math life. He probably, you know, he probably did. He probably started sending his, uh, you know, his uh, Cuminati's, the Cuminati posse. Uh, to go and, and give him love, you know what I'm saying. So now Math is 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 is, is uh, you know, he's appreciative of it. So his appreciation is like, damn man, he did a hook. He hooked me up. It's my man. So now there goes the little rules. My listen, man, you my man. I'll do anything for you as long as you don't got this, that, 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 that. But five things, and all they all say, jibbling, 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 jibbling. Never talk to him. That's what he has. You know what I'm saying? And that's all he asks. Now ask yourself, why am that important? Why are you so scared for Cuban to get an airplane like that? Why? Come on, man. I met you in the Bronx, dog. You know what I'm saying? We did a great thing together, regardless of what happened. You did me wrong. You know what I'm saying? You did me wrong. You did some fake shit. Maybe it's that. Your own conscience of what you did. So you know what you deserve. But I'm still, still, I'm like, I, I, you know that. You can just say certain things that trying to, God is trying to give you a sign to. To really, you know what I'm saying, I'll get on your knees and please. They're not not for in front of me. The fam. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you got the courage to, to to face what you need to say. Apologize. Uh what you need to do. I'll put that motherfucking respect back on my name. Man. All that lies, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. But you don't want to be known as a liar. You hear my humor study you. And you be, the more he said that, the more fucking lies he said. That's not me. That's that's it. And that's what happens. But math, did you add up and did the math? And that's what happened. I got really mad at math a little bit, disrespected because that's another lie that's been. What, what, when when Nori told her, started saying all of that, you see how he brought math to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know I can't bring nobody that, that does fake, fake paperwork. You understand rumors that he probably didn't even go all the way in and, and did his homework with. But he heard it because it was out there, you know, whatever. And, and he, he wanted to look for something. You know what I'm saying? Why are you trying to look for something? You Are you a, a journalist? You're trying to do podcasts, interview people. You go find that out. You go find that out if I really did it before you talk it. You understand? And he and that's the problem. And and then I gave him a little, I gave him love before that, between the, the, the to him and China Mac him. And I'm not saying he had to give me love. It's real, it's real. If I would have brought them papers out or something like that, he should have been. He could he, he, he could have a, a say so to be like, like that. But it's not true. It's not true. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what the problem is. You know, rumors like that has hurt me because those people, when they get to that level, they start believing. They want to believe it because they push the other narrative and they, they start looking, nitpicking because they want to make joke. Do with you know with Joe, they want to be in business. They, you know, Joe's part of everything. Like a little beluga octopus, you know what I'm saying? Well, he got his hands and everything. So I understand this fucking hustler. My enemy is the worst beluga, water fucking serpent ever, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Got clash with the Titans. So you had reached out to Math previously, and you guys like kind of like talked a little bit back and forth. This was prior to Fat Joe going on his platform. Yeah, about a week, about a week. It's just coincidence that I even wrote math right after Joe was, he did that show, but I had to erase it. If you go to my, I, I erased it. I wrote that like eight paragraphs like this. Yo, it's going to tell you things about me. I try to warn him and I erased it. If you go, I erased it because I didn't want to be, he, he probably would have got, he, he was probably in, you know, in the whirlwind already. It, it would have been like, I was going to put him in the spot. Like I let people do their own thing. So I erased it. And then, uh, but he never got back to me after, um, actually, uh, he, after he met with Joe, 
the first in the beginning, just Luke King, you old big fan of yours. And I was like, the same thing in the beginning, before Joe. After Joe, so we got to start labeling BF, like AD, you know, after Christ and all that, AC, BF, like, you know, say before Joe or whatever, the BJ, whatever, E, don't even go there, BJ. Anyway, I, after Joe uh, went to the bath show, uh, he never, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I hit him back. Like, I was like, what's up, King? What's going on? He didn't respond. Then I heard this. Then, you know, the same day of it, or the next day, I think, I got all my sh I hit up DJ EFN, too. You know, I hit him up. You know, I started doing my Cuban with him because he's Cuban, so I started talking Spanish. Oh, yes, now. You know, like flipping on them with the tough love Because at the end of the day, I don't hate them brothers. And I just want them to mother can get my name right. This is a business. You putting smut on my name that doesn't doesn't belong there. Doesn't belong there. What you want me to do? You want me to do some white boy, white college shit and go sue me for defamation of character? I should do that. I should have been did that, but I'm an asshole. I believe in the right, you know, in a hip hop game, I'm representing all the rules. And at the end of the day, I understand, but it's a real, it's like, like street I'm talking to. So it's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's another like a, a, a executive person doing this that I could do that to. Street dudes, you doing this? It's foul, shit. foul. Shit. You know, uh, I try to relate to them. I hit up Mav and I, after that, yeah, and I left like seven messages. Yo, my, what's going on, man? I explained the situation about the paperwork. Shit. I told him that you know what I'm saying. Me and Ten Toes down. We we did the full investigation to that whole thing. He's, Ten Toes knows exactly everything. He followed. He did his diligence. Went to check in the precinct. Even talked to the guy in jail. You go. To, you to be got it. Name is Ray's. You know what I'm saying? All that came through my shit. Then when Joe came out and stood on his shit, you know what I'm saying? Well, he said he's not that. You know what I'm saying? Let them get the same chance. Like five days later, they didn't return. That means something was fishy. Something fishy. Either Joe bought him off, or something happened between. That's not my fault. Or my problem. I mean, if that happened, that happened, right? But now I look like a so where everybody's blaming me that I put the paperwork out. And it was fake. Look at that. First of all, I didn't. That paperwork that came, through Star, Buckwow, Star Report, he put it out first. Then I reposted it on my page. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. So, you know, did the book, they like the gossip, and that's what the internet did. But at the end of the day, that's what my, you know, that's the, you see, this is the result of it. You got like math that probably hurt a little bit, a little bit. They didn't, they didn't see the whole, you know, the whole 20, you know, 48, uh, first 48 that we did. And, and seen the end, which is like, that's why I apologize. Because I I took credit for at least involving myself and being part of that as like antagonizing it a little bit and trying to find out, trying to be the referee in the middle of that. And me and Joe got problems. So I took credit for that. You know what I'm saying? And I give him his props on, 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 on the actual thing. So I swallowed my whole shit and I was like, you know, my bad. You know what I'm saying? The anxious up sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And it's a great thing anyway. Because if I put the pressure and it came back that you that you never did that and you're not that, you should be happy, right? And I'm over here, I'm the next supposed to be your enemy and I'm telling you my apologies. You don't say I was wrong. And the, you know what I'm saying? Because I never showed up. So I I even did that. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's all I could do. You know, it's not like I knew about that case. The 89, that shit came, she was out there. You know what I'm saying? I used, uh, Ten Toe said it. You know, it's name Money Mike put that out. They know who put it out. Not me. So that's the only thing. The old mash mud. It's like I got to fight all of this. The room has already got a, a certain mentality and the perception about me because those is are great rumor starters. Then you got a team. You know what I'm saying? No paloompas just going around in every town splitting up like street teams just spreading rumors to everybody about Cuban. Through all this time, too. You see this? Through all this time, it's not me. You got to talk about it's me. Oh, you can't forget that yet? I can forget that when I know you're doing that. They're doing that. It's not just that. Imagine all the friends he got. Imagine all the friends Nori got. It's a matter of EFN. You don't think them going to interview me? Going to give me my, my fair shot? Well, you know that. So how can you win when it's like that? You know what's so crazy is that uh, no one blames Star. Everyone always blames you, though, for that paperwork. That. Like, no one... Even That's why I was making songs. Like, I feel like Jesus in the Last Supper. Shout out to, you know, the Prince of Pain. I did songs like that. Everything I go through, and, and you see my post, I put it in my music. You know what I'm saying? So if you listen to my music, exactly my timeline of 
my feelings, my realness, everything, everything. I, I do it in a poetical way, you know what I'm saying? And I, I put it in a different metaphor, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's music. But I, you, I told you the story. But my stories ain't getting out there because my music can't get out there because of that situation. You see that? Situations like that. And he did that. He did that before. I told you. Pete Cutter. Pete Cutter, where he beat up the DJ. He had beat up the DJ in front of the, uh, the DJ Summit. So he beat one day in front of a DJ, like a hundred DJs. So now all them DJs never want to play my record. That's what he did. That's what the f*** they do. I told y'all is this. You think I'm lying? Everything I said to y'all was real. I hated the fact that my f even doubt me. You know what I'm saying? But it's the haters, it's their trolls. They come and put doubt in my circle, fans, you know what I'm saying? And they that look at me. And that is incredible to me. After, you should know my mother repertoire, my, my blood, my sweat and tears that I put and I gave. You think I do this for money and for anything else? Come on. I'm, of course we do that for that. But my brother, you know it gotta mean something more to me when y'all hear my music. Y'all know that. Y'all know it gotta be. So, you know, my whole different, my whole different Cuban rapper, man. I, I think I, I, I stood the test of time. They tested me extra. They didn't test nobody like this. And they put that hate on me extra. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the more hate, the more love I get when a story is done. That's all. So I just want to let y'all know where the story's going. Give me a chance to fight back, you f***s. Represent the real n***a. Put that pressure on these niggas, Because they doing some whack f n***a. Snitches. All of that. They're together doing those type of moves. Real n***a don't do those moves. So niggas up there are f***ing contaminated. And they've been compromised because they got prices on their f***ing heads. And, you know, that money, it's not supposed to be like that. We got journalism. In any business, it's supposed to compromise those things. It's supposed to be facts. You know what I'm saying? That's, they're supposed to be uh, for the fans, for people that are interested in whatever, the hip-hop, the culture. It's supposed to give them facts, not bought that they, they prepare you to do. Get out of here, man. So anyway, that's what I believe. But uh, I don't have to say anything. Huh? That's why I'm, I'm not playing with the industry as far as like I'm not involved in so much as I at all like I was and I don't want to become just an artist anymore got my own thing going and I want to bring whoever wants to do business with me come over here you're welcome you're all welcome come back to see okay uh, yo you know. so so they're they're saying like the internet gives everyone the opportunity to put their music out now so it doesn't matter if you're blackballed or not so they're not accepting that kind of experience. no 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 that's true to a level I'm special, man. You got to remember, look at the owners of these companies and see the relationship <laughs> where it goes back to sometimes. Just that alone should let you know certain things. And that's why they could play a little different games acting like, yeah, that's the narrative right there. That's a, supposed to be that. Everybody got a fair shot. No, they don't. No, they don't. And at, at the same time as this, they still got a little shit that they can hire to mess you up. They still got teams, you know, uh, to go against you, uh, to do the cyber wars, they can still do that to you. I'm not saying it doesn't be, but I've seen the, already. I've seen that. Yo, who owns YouTube? Yeah, Leo Cohen, right? Leo Cohen. You got Steve Rifkin. You think those big mobile things, you think they're not behind this? Anything music does? You think Joe, that haven't grown up with these things that, you know, since his career, you think he got poor like that? I'm telling you, man, the fucking octopus. He's the fucking beluga puss. That's the new name, beluga puss. You got fucking little arms everywhere. I gotta respect it, but I don't respect it. You know what I'm saying? I respect the power, of it, but I don't respect that nigga. You be you me out. You know, okay? You need friends. Like use it, man. Stand alone, nigga. A man in the man to the stand alone. What the fuck is going on? That's why I don't. Be, I don't have respect. You know A lot of people are saying like, "Yo, if you just make yourself hot enough." then they can't blackball you. Oh, well, that's what we're doing. Exactly what we're doing. That's why the f you see Cuban over here getting, you know, Cuban, let me do a podcast. Look, Cuban, come to, because I'm getting myself hot in my music. And that's where the enemy, and you see that, just, I got them scared. They shivering in their boots, invisible boots, like their boots. That's what they're doing. The more success, the more, sh you see that, I'm starting my, sh putting out music. They hear my, 
Now you see them now. They shaking, they nervous, because I'm coming. And that's when you see things like that. And more I go up, the more explore, expose, I mean, uh, expose they're going to be. They're they going to expose themselves. I'm not going to do nothing. All, I might, all I'm going to do is be who I am, which is my music, and I'm going to be the artist I am, and feed the, the, the mother the world my music. The more success I get, the more recognition, the more niggas start understanding that my story was true, that I, rep, I, was, I was always that nigga. You know, the man in the iron mask, and he was that wrong king. He faked like he was my twin. They put the thing on me, the, the wrong thing, and put me in here for the fucking cellar until, you know what I'm saying, certain niggas came and got that nigga out and switched me up. That's it. That's my, that's the cards of gaming. I get, I play. I love the game. I love music. The best at it. And I'm going to show you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, that's what I've been doing, though. Exactly what I've been doing. I've been back on my job. And, I'm, you know, you, that's why I'm snakes are, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they're going through the yard, but God, God cut the fucking grass. I see them. Beautiful job, God. And y'all see them. It's not about me seeing them. I've been seeing these. I told you that I was there. I just couldn't see them. You know, but my purpose and everything that I'm doing now is to show y'all. Because I told y'all already. Y'all hear. Y'all tired of hearing my voice. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all with actual action. Were you surprised that Nori came out and said that? No. I was, no, no, no. Because Nori, Nori's off the cuff. Nori say what he feels. And, you know, he's he's sporadic like that. You know what I'm saying? He's sporadic. Uh, and I see, I see Nori's eyes. And, I'm, and I'm, Nori been the dude. From before Joe and all of that, when we had the, you know what I'm saying, our problem, that was going out there chatting. Yo, you can't, yo, tell us, boy, what's up? Out of love, he was doing it. I respected that, Nori. Uh, I even respect this Nori because he's doing him. And I know he tried. Because even in the Drink Champ show, it was either F E F M or it's Nori that brings up. Even the, it, you've seen the, the transition in Nori, though, before he started, keep it, keep it, like with the attitude when he said my name. Now it's the hoodie overlay. It's a fucking curse you said around over there and joe controls things over there so um you know what i'm saying oh wait 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 how do you know joe controls things over there because you see who the because you see you see the ones that i don't have a problem never had a problem with and they're talking that about me or they feel that they gotta can't deal deal, deal with me or business or shout out or be next to me you can see it in their face you know what I'm saying when it's real you can tell it you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to tell you. They see it because it's, I mean, a human can only show you, you know what I'm saying? Be real and what they go through. So I know, I know the temperature. I'm all, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm smart enough that when I see somebody, it's like, they're not afraid. They might not be afraid of me because they know I'm, I'm a welcoming, I'm a welcoming dude. You know what I'm saying? And I'm socialized with people and know how to talk, but it's the I don't want nobody to see me with him. Like, they do that. I've seen it. I do it extra. That's when I go extra and be like, yo, you're my friend. Come here. It's like, you know how to, you know, you know how to do it in the street. You know how the cops do it to them, like the criminals. They put them in the back car. They, they, they drive it out with that. So it'd be like, yo, this bitch is something. They do it on purpose sometimes. That's how I feel sometimes when they be like, yo, they, they don't want to be seen with me, but they want to give me love. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I mean, that's just what Joe. That's, that's the energy you put around it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I, I just don't understand people. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. Maybe because I come from Cuba and I, I, still, I love that freedom. I love being, you know what I'm saying? The, the individual that could have my own say so and stand on my two and not be a yes man, you know what I'm saying? Without disrespecting nobody. Uh, you know, some people just don't like you being have, having that mindset. You know, that's why I couldn't fit with that crew because he wanted that mindset, you know? He wanted everybody to do as he say, uh, you know, and, and that was his, uh, his thing. The only, mis the only mistake was to, to, to you know what I'm saying, uh, make an example of me. That's his only mistake. He should have did that because, I, I, you know, uh, it was it was uncalled for and it was a wrong to choose. So, you know, he put, my, he put me in the situation. And at the end of the day, I take responsibility for me being in the situation. So we're going to handle it accordingly. And I've been doing that. You know what I'm saying? But all the things you ever heard me say, not really complaining, letting y'all know, because y'all always ask me to, about the terrorist squad situation. But you see, you see it happening. If you go to my timeline, in my, in my IG, I told y'all when. I 
the old John, you seen uh, the dude, um, this pretty Lou now. You see, the same thing. You see Nori, you see his eyes, and he's like, and he wants to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could never, ever see myself, you know what I'm saying? Keep it because of Joe, you know what I'm saying? And I know, I know that. It's just, how the f is this even allowed, is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm a that's out there trying to even sue a dude. You know what I'm doing? I'm playing it as G as I could and respectful. They don't respect it. Joe don't respect that. The more you let him get away with shit, you know what I'm saying? Even though it might be illegal, the more he's going to do it. That's what it is. It's like there's no respect. And how can you come closer to somebody and make him understand and a line of communication when he keeps disrespecting the whole game, the whole, you know what I'm saying, respect level of an individual, the respect of a gesture, he, res he don't respect it, so and that me gonna go times that by 10. So people's responses to this, right, it's been like somewhat divided. Like some people feel like Nori is doing the right thing by being loyal to his friend, right? So from a street standpoint, it's like that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to hold down your man. I didn't want to go into in, in, in drink camps, to tell you the truth. I knew once I knew this, the Joe owned part of it, I knew I couldn't go there. I didn't bother, but I did have people behind, like, for uh, hit me up with emails. I had this lady that hit me up and invited me, like, Yo, we want you on drink champs. Like, that was she was representing him and sent me a letterhead and everything. And I was like, I'll go. That's at the beginning, before I knew Joe even owned it. So then, EFN, you know, she was having problems with it. So I, I hit up EFN and I was like, Yo, my brother, y'all need to send me a letter? Because I don't know, right? You know, that, yeah, he said something like, she was like, yeah, she's just an like independent work and she don't really work for the, for the company, which I know he was lying. So they had to scroll her. She didn't know. She just, you know, she saw me getting high in the street. She thought she was recruiting something that was, you know what I'm saying, uh, to, for them. And he probably just, you know what I'm saying, they, they switched it up. They must have had to switch it up. And, and uh, that lady never got back to me, but uh, I'm sure that's what happened, huh? You know, I've been through it. I've been through it. I've been through it. He no, probably going to hear it. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the plan is to don't bring his name up. Don't say his name. I'm the fucking, I'm fucking candy man. You know what I'm saying? So, the, you know, that's his business game. You don't see him never ask him about this is, you know what I'm saying? When he answers it's because he has to sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And he has nothing but negative shit to say. He doesn't ever say the truth. He starts actually adding more truth. He, st he starts snitching on himself. That's why I knew that he received, when he said he gave us $500,000 each, from the terror squad. That's, oh my God, right there. That's it. He's guilty right there. Snake thief. Nigga never gave us no $500,000 each. That's why he was supposed to give us. Then he said he bought me a house. Nigga never bought me a house, yo. So you understand? It's like, why are you trying to act like you was like the best friend to me? Say the truth, you fucking baloney. And that's what bothers me. That's straight up nigga when it comes to this because he's wrong. And the only thing you got to do is accept it, take it in, let it hit the heart, let it hit the soul, wash it, let it come out of your asshole. And that's it, nigga. And, you know, that's all you got to do. And uh, it'll make him a better person. But he's not built. Some people are just, who they're supposed to that. They can't. These, it's impossible for him to do that. And you know why? Because that's the, that's the only thing God is probably telling him to do. But he can't do it. Yo, so they sent that request early on when Dream Chance first started. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, like, like, in, uh, uh, before they got with Puffy, but, but right there when they was in Miami. Mm. Yeah, I got the letterhead. Still was in my email. I forgot her name, but I got it. He was representing uh, uh, Dream Chance. Do you respect Nori for actually coming out and keeping it a stack and saying, "Yeah, this is why I ain't gonna interview him"? Yes, yes, I said it. I said it. I made a little video and I said, thank you, Nori. Thank you. Even, even your haters, which I know he's not a full hater, but he's a hater. You see that hate on me. He put the hoodie on another time. He try to hide every time he see my name. I already see them changing. You know what I'm saying? I seen the, the poison go in. And, and the incredible shit is that he was an other pop. So my, my demons. My demons. That's when I know what I know. I know my line of connection with God is so powerful. I know. I told y'all, told y'all, and not because I told y'all, but I told y'all what he was going to do. I told God, I told God to cut the grass. He's doing it. Praise the Lord. He's doing it. All I asked for. And I said, cut the grass because I don't want to be caught from the back again like he did.
I let it happen, but I can't sometimes look everywhere. So just cut that grass. I want to see my enemies so I know the targets. Little targets. Because I know either, either okay, you know what? I don't avoid shit. I ain't going to lie to you. But I know the targets. That's it. And we're going to understand that you need to understand. Because, uh, you know, we do what we do. So at the end of the day, I'm just doing what I need to do to be Cuban Link. And Cuban Link is a motherfucker. I'm special, boy. I'm just special. I mean, all these fucking hate shit. If I want to be special, I don't think it would happen to me. So I know. I know. You know what I'm saying? Besides the fact, you know what I'm saying, I see it now. Before, you know, we're we going to look over stuff. And, but I, I see shit. Just happen. I, I see the world giving me exactly what I need to close the signs. I know I'm in the right path. I know. Y'all can, y'all can think. I, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is always a, a thing like, like, like you know, you got to do certain things to make, to do you, right? To find yourself and, and to be the best you. You go through a process and, you know, that's for y'all to find out. But you see it at the end of the day how, how even... Fans are supposed to believe in you get contaminated by that hate. Sometimes, because you know, like I told you before, you see me a, a little sporadic here and there, look crazy a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm doing it as myself to try to, you know what I'm saying, uh, get to a place and I'm doing it in a good space. They, you know, the haters, they, oh, he's using drugs, oh, he's this, that, then they get crazy, look, he's mine. That's what the haters want. They want you to think that I was always lying. And you see, how those that there was like this once, you know, fans, they could contaminate it by the haters. Oh, yeah, that is. Like that. And then you be like, wow, look at this. They don't got no faith. So easy to, it's so easy to just, uh, you know, turn the mother. And it's just not that, fans. So my circle, your own circle, because you know for years, they be like, you know, for me. So that's, I had to go through that. And I understood the power I have. I love what I do. I love my direction. I know what I did was righteous. And if somebody try to stop that, only has to be because they hate because of my qualities, the gift God gave me, because I'm not doing anything evil to fuck with them. And they're doing it to me. Why? I'm important, baby. So the more hate I ever got, it's the more blushing I was doing. So thank you. I think that... Um the problem was that Nori decided to bring you up during his interview with Joe, right? He didn't have to do that. Uh, that's why I say thank you, Nori, because I know in his heart, he, won't, he, he don't want that to be, I know. That's why I was humble enough to recognize that. And I didn't go to Nori, yet, but he's still, still on the other side. Don't get that twisted. He's still on the other side. He's still placed, I guarantee you, he's still when they said Cuban link around him. He never sent me no business. I'm sure... Uh, don't talk about me. But by you denying me with somebody, was somebody could have been around him and say, "Yo, what, what's up with Cuban, man? I want to do something with him." They'd be like, "Nah, nah, nah." They directing, they stopping my direction of money, stopping my business by not, you know, what I'm saying they don't do that to other people. I'm sure they won't. So I'm not saying that they're supposed to, you know, be my friends and like put me in positions. But you saying negative shit is gonna be what it is because they're around you. Especially if you're popping, you know, at that time, your word is usually more powerful than when you're not. And, you know, they've been doing this. Not just saying, just know me. This is happening for 20 plus years. And they have many, many others. You know what I'm saying? Many, many, many. Like Police Academy. Many, 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 many years. But because he brought you up in that Joe interview, people feel like if you're a journalist, now you have to have Cuban on your show to tell his side of it. Like if he didn't do that, of course. Same thing, uh, same thing. Angie Martinez did back then. She was the first one, my friend. She had that on oh, ninety seven. Gave him a chance to talk his story. Yeah, that's when it started. Next thing you know, I can't even make a chip. My, my own. My, that's what time the crossroads. People chose sides. He made them choose sides, not me. You said, and that, it looks like I'm who make you choose sides. How can a fuck? That's what bothers me. How can a fuck talk it well, play for the people to do something like that? 
And that's a special talent that Beluga has. So we have to light up candle and mother uh, praise Moby Dick right now because that's, I think I'm going to read Moby Dick just because I talked about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because, you know, that's special light too. Back in the days, it was special light. So I, I applaud special light. Just to show some wrong nigga to do it. I'm the wrong immigrant for you to do it. Any South Cuban, have Puerto Rican. Got the best Puerto Rican ever. Big pun was his artist. Cuban Link, best side. Folk, um, folk Cuban. That's your Cuban side. She just, that's a beautiful picture for that nigga to paint. Just don't like his Cuban side. It's, every time he talk about Cuban, even in, in the drink champs, say some negative. Back then, behind the scenes with me, he used to give me the whole, uh, 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 with the Cuban side. I'm like, Cuban? You're Cuban. If you're not, they don't say you're Cuban then. Well, that's what happened. So, Cuba, Guano Singao, they, but I used to shame of whatever. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the Cuban side treated him wrong. I don't give a fuck. I'm still Cuban. You know what I'm saying? still Cuban, and I'm Cuban, and I'm proud to be Cuban. I love Puerto Ricans. I love fucking everybody. I'm a fucking black folk. I love everybody. You got a you know, special thing with Cuban? I don't matter. Let's not get to the race. You know what I'm saying? Because he's, uh, he's, he's from the fucking fish. Anyway, he's, he's not even human. But like I said, man, that, that woman bothers me more. Because he's just like, damn, man, you're just a brand new nigga you got. And you know what I'm saying? I'm believing in you to keep it real. I don't, don't want to be your program either. It's not about me being a guy. But I like it, generally. So now you do this and become a baloney with these about listening, becoming one of these. I, he never was that way he was back there. It wasn't a rumor started. It wasn't a, let me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Talkative nigga like that. Now you're just doing just anyway. So I hit him up. Hopefully he could give me my respect, put some respect back in my name after, you know what I'm saying? He understands it. Because I sent him all the clips, you know what I'm saying, of the whole novella with the paperwork. So after he finished that, I hope he'd be a man, stand up and go, yo, cute. My bad. I see what's up. I know the story. It wasn't you. That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? Got the same, with the same fucking, you know what I'm saying, energy. You put my name out there with that kind of a discussion question. I want you to do it with certification, confirmation. When you talk about it now, because now you know, right? And that's all. And he wrote me back. He wrote me back and said, "Yes, you, you're right to it. I got, I got to be more responsible." He hear me, but that's been five days, and he said, "I'll hit you up tomorrow," but never hit me. So you know. Anyway, he, he hasn't done it either. So when did you hit him? Yeah, hit him up. When? About Monday. Oh, and he actually wrote back, and he said that he was going to get back to you. The next day, which was Tuesday. No, I think I think it was like Sunday or something. I hit him. Something like that. But it's been like two or three days that, it, you know, but at least he hit me back. Right. EFN never hit me back. Because the interesting thing is with Math, when he was talking about the paperwork, he said that my morals and my standards won't allow me to bring somebody on that did that paperwork, right? But I never did it. But then... Recently, he had got into it with China Mac, right? And he said, I'm of course, that's, the same. that's what I'm saying. You should understand that. That's the, that's the same type of shit. His morals. He brought the morals into it. Like, I cannot bring it. Uh, somebody that has that type of moral. Morally, it'll be wrong. They're finding anything. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you look, read between the lines. Look at that math. Even math got a, show, a side show go, read between the lines. If you read between the lines, he didn't want to say that either. He just wanted to stamp his foot and make sure that. Big Daddy Boss, you know, Hog, McGruff over there, could see it and go, yeah, he, he's got a strike. Okay, I'm going to give him another fucking deal for him. Let me hook him up. Cause he, I think they just got little perks every time he do. I think he learned that from when he was in like America, Market America. Remember that invisible train he was doing? When he wasn't rapping, he was over there fucking pawn scheming when they, all the fucking immigrants trying to sell him fucking, uh, sandwich cards or something perfumes you know how it is i think he learned even more from there but that's the Ponzi scheme itself so i think he getting perks every time you do something against cuban what the more you do that come up the more little perks you get until you get like 10 diamonds and become a baloney smoker then you get a visible train that runs up in your ass that's what happens that's what i think because a lot of people were saying like when he was beefing with china mac recently he was saying I'm not a street dude anymore. I'm a podcaster. So then people felt a certain way, like, how are you talking about your morals and your standards with the paperwork, but then you say you're not a street dude anymore? He's a rookie. You know what I'm saying? Once again, he's a rookie at that. He's going through the doors. I, I, we already seen what Nori door. He in. Nori's in between. He's a fucking uh, pur purgatory. 
I don't think he talks his door. He's just in there. But all the doors are around Joe. So he doesn't, you know, he doesn't know what to think. But those are doors that you talk about. And he's trying to, you know what I'm saying? See, I understand that. But damn, wait. You know that. Now, he should know that. He should know me and this before you even got into that world. You heard of me. You seen the problems we had. Now you get in there. You get around that. You can't think back of what I used to say. All my interview. You think I'm still a hater now? You think I'm still a hater? You're in the middle of this shit. And being part of it. Why did this guy say that? That's a rule. No reason really have to say it. He knew, because you know what? You got niggas in it. Yo, what's up with Cuban Lake? Why ain't bring on there? Because I'm hot, you know, getting hotter. I'm putting the pressure from the bottom. Went back to the bottom, try to get back up to the top. You got the niggas at the top, gatekeepers. They want to put the foot in the trap door. I'm supposed to get in. They want to stop the fucking escalator when I'm in the fucking escalator. They want to cut the cables when I'm in the fucking, you know what I'm saying, in the elevator. You're cheating. You're cheating. You. That's not fair. Give me a, and I'm not saying that. Please, I'm going to find a way up. You know I'm going to find a way up. I'm going to find a hole. Bruce Willis, you know what I'm saying, die hard. And I'm going to climb up to the top. And I'm going to shoot you and the, you know, throw you off the roof and take over. That's me. So it doesn't matter what they do. But I'm letting you know, yo, they're doing this, dog. That's not fair, dog. Do you think that Maff and Nori are genuinely, like, scared of Fat Joe? Because a lot of people are saying that that he's going to blackball them. Mm, well, listen, I don't think it's, they're not ever going to say they're scared of fat. Just they don't want to look a certain way. And uh, I don't think so. I don't want to put that in the air. It's just, they're more scared of disappointing him because he looked out so much for them. That's what it is. He looked out so much in a business. You know how the devil do. Yeah, yeah. There it comes and, you know, squeezes them nipple and takes your soul. That's what Joe does. So I'm just saying, so the only thing he asks is, don't deal with my enemy. Don't deal with this. You know, whatever he says. Whatever favor. I'm sure it's the Cuban Lake favor. So you see them. It's not like they have personal hate for me. And it goes all across the board, even he's in the street, whatever. It's just the same way. Joe said this. He's the one paying. He's the one that, you know what I'm saying, he's paying my right, my my, 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 my rent. They're paying this. He's the one giving us a shot. So we have to make him happy because I have to do my job. That's how he puts it to people. You know? So it's not much about, you know, them being scared, but they're rocking with him. They want to be part of the team. They want to see, they want to, you know what I'm saying, they, Joe to introduce him up the ladder. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes in a business. Uh, and Nori's like Joe spoke, man, you know, when bringing people in. So I think that that's what Nori was really doing right there, the math. He was really coaching. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like me. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't talk to you. He's already giving me a chance. That's like Pretty Lou, remember? Oh, you know, next time, uh, don't play this song because, remember he said that? Same. Nori said the same thing. It's like me, right? Like, like you know, because Mav was interviewing people and I guarantee Mav was about to probably into, you know what I'm saying? Try to get me on there. Somehow he was thinking. So he was warning them. That's how they warn each other. You gotta see, read between the lines, man. And the math needs to add up, right? So shout out to, to, to Nori, man. Shout out to math. At the end of the day, uh, math do the, the right thing, man. I expect the right thing to be done, right? That That's not too much to ask, right? You put a little, a little uh, uh, on my name, so put some uh, uh, on my shit. Okay? Pause, too. I don't know what the fuck that meant. Math do the right thing. Are you can so no diss song? No diss songs to either of them, right? I don't, nah, I'm not doing no diss song. I mean, if I say it, I feel somewhere in a, in a verse, that's another song. That, nah, I'm not, I'm not into that. I'm not, I, I did that, man. I put my motherfucking, why? Well, they trying, that's what the devil's trying to make me do. They trying to fucking go into, into, into that negative spot. I told you I was out of there, right? I told you I was out of there. I was making songs that, you know what I'm saying, is going to touch the world, the universe. You know what I'm saying? Some little baloney smoker from Buffalo, uh, this nigga. <clears throat> I call him Lipstick Man. So they don't Ballistic Man that I put on for the big guy. I did a song with him and everything. Being a nice guy and, you know, give him a deal and the shit. Now he's up there in Buffalo. Next thing you know, he's with Joe. Another one that Joe came over there. Now he's over with the K on it, Pistol Pete. Next thing you know, he's dissing me. He's dissing me. Did a song called Buffalo Soldier. Then another one. So it's not like this is happening. This happens in the low uh, tier, the high tier. The baloney, as soon as Joe, baloney's come in, the herd. And they take over their minds. And they usually go, they target niggas that are in my past. I love Joe for that. I love that he tests my fuck. That's supposed to be niggas. That's supposed to show their loyalty like I show them. I love that. Because he shows me. They belong with the baloney. In the freezer. With the wrap around them. Fuck, throw some aluminum paper on them too. That's it. 
So thank you for that too. I know how to thank my enemies for doing the right thing.